Curses are used and worn by many people that play Sea of Thieves. They're often used for a few different reasons like making your character stick out and look cool, or to show a significant amount of time spent playing the game. By the end of the video you'll know everything you need to about all the different curses in Sea of Thieves and how you too can obtain them. The first curse on this list is the Curse of the Sunken Sorrow. This awesome looking curse isn't rare but it's also not super common. Getting this curse for yourself requires the Curse of the Sunken Kingdom commendation. You can get this by completing mermaid shrines and a decent amount of them too. There are 6 shrines located all around the map and in each shrine there are 5 different journals you'll need to read. Unlike Tall Tales you don't need to have an active quest open to read these and you can also read these between multiple sessions letting you slowly progress towards this over time. After reading all 30 journals you'll then unlock the Legend of the Sunken Kingdom commendation allowing you to move on to the final voyage to unlock the curse. The voyage is purchased from Lorena at the outpost and you'll be following clues, completing riddles, all until you finish the final quest and rewarding you with one of the most unique looking curses in the game. The second curse is of course the Ashen Curse. This curse may be seen more amongst newer players and it's pretty easy to see why. It's fairly easy to get, doesn't take too much time and it looks really really good. This curse is a part of the Ashen Dragon cosmetic line and obtaining this curse consists of completing the Heart of Fire Tall Tale and can easily be done within just a couple of hours. Keep in mind though that you need to complete the Tall Tale 3 times to receive the curse and you need to unlock all the commendations within the Tall Tale including reading all of the journals laid out amongst the layer. But for the majority of the Tall Tale you're only sailing around the Devil's Roar making it really not that bad. Just be careful of volcanoes erupting as getting hit by one of those can really ruin your session. Like the other curses you can complete this curse over a period of time and you're given checkpoints letting you start up right where you left off. The third curse is a legendary curse from the legendary cosmetic set. Now this curse is pretty interesting as there have previously been other ways to obtain this curse. For example if you played during season 1 of Sea of Thieves and reached renowned level 100 you would have unlocked it back then. But since then it has been re-released and is now obtainable through reaching allegiance level 105 in the Guardians of Fortune. This isn't a very common curse to see amongst players as you either had to have played for quite a while as season 1 was released late January back in 2021 or played the on demand pvp for a decent period of time and done well in doing so. You'll also need to have reached pirate legend to unlock this curse which if you didn't already know is done so by reaching reputation level 50 in 3 different trading companies. Before we get into the next curse if you're enjoying this video then please do subscribe as it really helps out the channel. But a curse that really is rare is the blessing of Athena's fortune with only 0.5% of players receiving this curse. It is significantly harder to get compared to the other curses on this list and making it arguably one of the hardest curses to get in Sea of Thieves. And it's also a part of the legendary cosmetic set. Like the legendary curse you can also obtain this by leveling up your guardians of fortune allegiance level but you must reach level 1000 which is no easy task to say the least. And pirates using this curse are most definitely not players you'd want to mess with. Reaching level 1000 could take countless hours especially if you're not confident in pvp. But it does look absolutely awesome and with your entire character glowing it's a very very good representation of the absolute grind it took to obtain as well as skill. The next curse is from the order of the soul set and it's one of the easiest curses to get and it's called the curse of the order. To get this curse you must complete two tall tales, the shroudbreaker tall tale and the cursed rogue tall tale. It's personally not my favourite curse out of them all but for how easy it is to get I suppose it's worth it. It features these minimalistic black tears under the eyes of your pirate. Doing the cursed rogue tall tale doesn't take too long to do either but keep in mind you need to get every commendation in the cursed rogue tall tale which does include completing this tall tale five times. Although having to complete one tall tale five times to get a curse might seem insane it's nothing compared to the the complete torture that it takes to receive the gold curse. This is arguably one of the most popular curses amongst season players. It looks different on every pirate with the gold pattern varying and being unique but the overall concept is the same. To get this curse you must complete 9 different tool tales and get every journal for all of them. But not only that you've got to do them 5 times each. 5 times 9 is 45 so you need to do 45 tool tales for this one curse. Doing these tool tales isn't necessarily hard but as I'm sure you could assume it just becomes repetitive and boring. Keep in mind though that you don't have to do these all in one session. Like all of the others you can take your time doing these and slowly progress when you have nothing else to do in Sea of Thieves. The 9 tall tales are the Shroudbreaker, the Cursed Rogue, the Legendary Storyteller, Stars of a Thief, Wild Rose, The Art of the Trickster, The Fate of the Morning Star, The Revenge of the Morning Star and finally The Shores of Gold. Don't get me wrong though, these tall tales were incredibly well made and follow a very interesting storyline I just personally wish you didn't have to do each one of them 5 times over. Now the last curse on this list is possibly the most infamous curse that there is. Before this curse was officially released the community had been asking for it for years and years and it was an incredibly big deal when it was finally released. This of course is a skeleton curse. Now this curse is also a bit of a grind. You must reach level 75 on the reaper's bones trading company as well as allegiance level 100 in the servants of the flame. So it's somewhat similar to the previously mentioned legendary curse but reaching
reaching level 75 in Reaper's Bones does take quite a bit of time unless you're specifically grinding for it. I recommend selling all of your loot to Reapers whenever you play the game to progress towards this quicker. Reaching a level 100 in Servants of the Flame is the exact same as reaching a level 100 in Guardians of the Fortune, but this time you're playing for the other team. These are all the curses explained in Sea of Thieves. Thanks for watching.